internet, my name is Lave and I watched The Grinch, which comes to us from Illumination, the animation studio behind Despicable Me, Minions, The Secret Life of Pets, Sing and The Lorax, which was their first Dr. Seuss adaptation. Now they're at it again, adapting arguably his most famous children's book, How the Grinch Stole Christmas, and it does exactly what it says on the tin. We follow the Green Grouch as he plans to put an end to Christmas in Whoville by stealing all of their presents and Christmas trees and Christmas stuff on Christmas Eve. So we all know the story, you've probably read the book or seen the original animation or Ron Howard's live action adaptation with Jim Carrey as the Grinch, which I actually don't mind at all, I'm quite surprised that film gets a lot of hate. If you haven't seen any of these incarnations then you're probably a kid and the target audience for this glossy 3D computer animation. And from that point of view the film doesn't disappoint, it looks great, the world of Dr. Zeus has been recreated from the smallest snowflake to the largest mountain, all with his distinctive and unique art style at its heart, with some awesome fur, cloth and snow simulations, and all of the characters and animals all brought to life by the unsung heroes of these films, the animators. Now you could say that we've been saying that about these types of films for years, I think it was 2008 when Blue Sky Studios first did a 3D computer animation of one of Dr. Zeus's books, which was Horton Hears a Who, and to be honest, they nailed it, and it still looks good to this day. Day. I'm not saying that they haven't improved upon it in the 10 years since, I'm just saying we do tend to take it for granted. The amount of work that goes into these types of films, it's incredible and this does look great. But of course it's not just down to the people behind the scenes to bring these characters to life, they're hugely reliant on the voice actors and Benedict Cumberbatch didn't really do it for me in this film as the Grinch. I think I would have preferred it if he wasn't doing an American accent, which he is doing throughout this entire film. It's weird, there are certain English actors, Benedict Cumberbatch is one of them, Martin Freeman is another example of English actors who take on American characters where I don't hear the characters, I just hear the actors doing really generic American voices. And I think that's what's happening in this film. If I was to cover my eyes and just listen to his voice performance as the Grinch, I wouldn't say, oh, that's the Grinch. Whereas if I did that with any of Pixar's films, I could instantly tell you each of the characters by their voice. I could say, yeah, that's Woody. Yeah, that's Rex. Yeah, that's Slinky. But back to this film, and if I'm being really super nitpicky, I would have liked to have seen the Grinch being more of a Grinch. They do explain why he is the way he is, which is admirable, but I wanted to see him being mean to the Who's, but in a PG way, obviously. There are a few moments early on, but there are also moments that shows he's really just a nice guy, he's just a bit lonely, and this is before his heart even grows two sizes, so he's not really the Grinch. But ultimately, it still leads to the same conclusion, and the message is still the same, it's a good message. And like Ron Howard's film before it, it does suffer from a bit of padding to try and stretch it out into a feature length film and that comes in the shape of a couple of new characters, one being a fat reindeer and one being a screaming goat, which the kids are going to find hilarious and that's ultimately all that really matters at the end of the day, isn't it? So that's my thoughts on The Grinch and pause the video if you want to take a closer look at my enjoyment tracker now. It's the same old Grinch story but for a new generation in a new format. Is it amazing? No. Will it keep your kids amused for an hour and 20 minutes? Yeah, it will, so there you go. What else do you want? So thanks very much for watching this review. I really do appreciate it. If you can, give this video a like and don't forget to share the lave. You're a mean one, Mr. Lave. Subscribe.